Actually, I'm pastor in the parish of Notre Dame de l'Alliance in, in Montreal, uh, St. Michel Rosemont. And uh, I've been also chaplain of the Missionary Sister of Charity here in Montreal. Uh, and when the task has been too heavy on my shoulders, I had to leave. And uh, finally, the sisters found another chaplain. Uh, but I've been also one of the members of the Missionary of Charity, uh, Bob Brothers. And uh, I've been doing my study in California. Uh, when it's have been done, uh, they asked me to, to go and help to found a, a house for the AIDS people. So I've been there. After that, they sent me to Paris, where I've been superior over there. And we, will work, we were working with the homeless people, those who have problems with drugs and alcohol. Afterwards, uh, they told me, well, you're still young, we need you because we need to play sports with the, the, the Caminanti, which are the gypsies in Sicily. So I've been over there and uh, we succeed to uh, work with them. After that, uh, I've been in Rome uh, working in the slum. So we usually don't think that in Rome we have slums, but it, it's the case. So we did help the, these people with uh, medication, food, uh, blankets, and all that stuff. And we're also, during the night, visiting the train station and bringing food over there, too. So I know that the Pope, Francis, is doing that uh, once in a while. So I figure out that they know well the missionaries of charity. So uh, after that, um, I've been uh, ready to do my retreat, 30 days retreat, uh, as to decide if I take my final vows with uh, this community. And Mother Teresa came to us once again, and uh, she was expressing us the urgency to have priests. Uh, the sisters all ar around the world did uh, not receive the Holy Communion daily and also the confession and she was very preoccupied about it. And she said if it's a problem in 1990, uh, well, what is going to be later on? So uh, during the retreat I decide uh, to reflect and to see if God is not calling me to the priesthood. And uh, at the end it was was uh, uh, obvious that I had to leave. Uh, I know that St. Francis of Assisi played a, a role in my vocation. Mother Teresa was very touchy and a big place in my heart too. But uh, I did give my heart and my life to Jesus. And if Jesus needed priests, I could not say no to him. So I decided to uh, leave the Missionary of Charity Brothers because in our constitutions we are not allowed to study uh, philosophy and uh, theology and all that stuff. So uh, I was asking mother, mother, uh, where do you think uh, Christ is asking me to be a priest? In India, in South Africa, in, uh, in La Latin America? And uh, Mother Teresa told me that uh, she believes that it will be in Canada. Uh, because uh, in Canada, well, I know the language, I know the culture, I, uh, I'm familiar with all that stuff. And she said that probably that's going to be harder because uh, in uh, the third world countries, uh, the poor are very close to their God uh, because they lack everything. So usually they ask God to help them to find everything they need daily. And so you just have to give uh, them a piece a bowl of food and uh, just given what they need to eat and they will be happy and going back home uh, 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 f full and happy. So uh, if I, I was going to be in Canada, it would be a different things uh, because here we don't lack many things. We have materially abundance uh, and more than we should get. And, and she said, now we will have just to try to offer them a ball or a plate of God, and it will be refused uh, more than often. And so the, the, the effort will be greater, uh, the work will be harder, and the result will be very few. But she believed that uh, God is asking me to be a priest in, uh, in Canada and in Montreal. So I left over there to start my studies here in um, Montreal at the Grand Seminaire de Montréal. 
and I've been ordained priest in the parish of Saint Gilbert at Saint Leonard. And uh, I celebrate uh, last year my 20th, 20th anniversary of priesthood. So I'm, I'm very happy to have uh, choose that vocation.